What to do when excavator is slow and weak or has hanging arms? Hi, I'm Principal Jiang. Today, I'll explain the working principle of the overload valve on the excavator's boom on the 64th day of zero-based excavator repair. When excavator operates normally, high-pressure oil enters begun through orifice fixed on first flow valve piston, and acts on right end face of valve sleeve and lifting valve. Due to gun B's larger effective area, the sleeve and lifting valve remain closed due to pressure difference and spring force. If the load on the boom suddenly increases, the system's oil pressure will rise too. When the pressure in the B-gun reaches the preset opening pressure of the pilot cone valve spring, the pilot cone valve opens, and the high-pressure oil in the B-gun is relieved. With the opening of the pilot cone valve, the flow generated through the orifice on the piston and the hydraulic oil, and the pressure difference between the A-gun and the B-cavity, the piston overcomes the spring resistance and moves to the main cutoff surface of the pilot cone valve on the right. At this time, the high-pressure oil in the A-cavity passes through two orifices on the piston and the routing oil of the pilot cone valve and control valve, increasing the pressure in the A-gun. When the pressure A multiplied by the cross-sectional area A is greater than the pressure B multiplied by the cross-sectional area B, the lifting valve opens to ensure hydraulic system safety by allowing high-pressure oil to return to the tank through the valve. In the next episode, we'll explain its replenishment.